Tonight, a nonprofit is hoping to bring attention to a state house bill aimed at helping women. News 19's Cassidy Byer explains. We don't really talk about it a lot still in silence. Deanna Wiley, founder and CEO of the Rosé Shower, is making an effort to bring more awareness to the challenges women face when it comes to women's reproduction after facing challenges herself for over a decade. After her hysterectomy, Wiley wanted to spread awareness by having a rosé shower. So it's just bringing everyone together in unity and being like, it's okay to talk about it. We can be celebrated. You have like support. It's a party with a purpose and it really is a way to have a captive audience to share just what Mr. Poverty and menstrual health equity is all about. Karen Dudley Colbreth, CEO of the nonprofit Period Project, says events like these help educate people on menstrual health poverty, something House Bill 3563 can help with. If the bill is taken up with this session in the Senate and passes, period products, including tampons, pads, wipes, and liners, will be tax free for women within the state. It is a way to help to alleviate some of the financial pressures that our families are experiencing here in South Carolina. 21 states have passed similar bills, and for the women of the Rosé Shower, they're setting the bar pretty high with hopes of having all 50 states pass bills eliminating tax on menstrual products. Talk to, you know, doctors and specialists you feel comfortable with. Don't be ashamed or afraid to tell them everything. Um, and then find people that you feel comfortable with um, to have those conversations with. Reporting from Columbia, Casty Byer, News 19 WLTX. Well, tonight we're learning.